Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create a translator app using MLKit. You already know what a translator app is. It basically translates from one language to another language. In our case, it will translate the English language to the Hindi language. Let me show you the demo. I have kept the UI quite minimal, so have a look. I will write here something in English like maybe what are you doing and click on the translate to Hindi button and look at the translation. It says, Tum kya kar rahe ho? Easy? Now, what is an ML kit? But before that, first let's understand what ML is. ML stands for machine learning. It's a technology that allows machines to learn from data. Instead of following fixed instructions, the computer uses patterns and experiences from data to make predictions or decisions. For example, ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an open AI based tool. The full form of GPT is Generative Pre-trained Transformer. Focus on the word pre-trained means it has been trained on vast amounts of text data. And over time, it has learned to understand language patterns, respond to questions, generate text, and assist in conversations by predicting what comes next based on input. The training process is a part of machine learning. Now, what is an ML kit? ML kit is a mobile SDK provided by Google that allows developers to integrate machine learning features into their apps easily. Let me show you the website. This is how it looks. It provides machine learning for mobile developers. It is available for iOS apps as well as for Android apps. Have a look over here. We have Vision APIs, which includes video and image analysis, APIs such as barcode scanning, face detection, image labeling, document scanners, and much more. Also, we have natural language APIs. So we have one more concept in API, which is NLP, which stands for natural language processing. It involves human language with a touch of technology. For example, robots. They talk exactly how a human talks, right? But obviously they are not humans, they are machines. And that's where NLP comes into the picture. Also, if you'll see ChatGPT, it responds so naturally, as if we are talking to a human. That's the beauty of NLP. See, smart reply, language identification, translation, and all. I will cover a lot of projects from MLKit, starting from the translation app. So click on Get Started. Here, choose Android. See. You have a ready-made sample app itself to see how the app works. Then here are the steps like adding Gradle dependency and then creating a translator object both in Kotlin and in Java. So let's create it. Open Android Studio. Choose Empty Views Activity. Then name the project Translator App. And click on Finish. Let's start with the prerequisites. Go to Colors. Add blue color with hex code 1E3A8A. Then go to themes. Add the color primary blue. Then the color primary variant also blue. And then the Android status bar color also blue. Then do you see this rounded border that we need to create? Hence, create a drawable resource file. Give it a name rounded, edit text. Choose shape and click OK. Then write corner radius 20 dp. And stroke means the border whose width is 2 dp. And color is blue. Next, to make the app look more appealing, we will add a drawable background image. So let me quickly add it. And done. Now we need to add the dependency. Hence, go to Gradle app. 
Then copy the dependency from MLKit website and paste it here. Rewrite it according to our code. This is the MLKit translate dependency. Like for other APIs, we have different dependencies. It stores all the logic that helps us to build apps quickly and easily. Now click on Sync Now. The next is to create a UI. This is what we are going to create. We have text view, edit text and a button. Now let's create it. I'll quickly write the code and then explain to you only the important points. Okay?
and done. Now see, we have used vertical linear layout with our background. Then we have a text view that says English as a label. Then below it an edit text whose ID is input edit text with rounded edit text background. This is where we will write the English text which we are supposed to translate. Then below it a button whose ID is translate button. Then again a text view for the Hindi label. And then another text view whose ID is output text. This is where the Hindi translated text will be displayed. Got it? Now go to main activity. Remove the extra code. This is where we will write the logic. First, declare and initialize all the UI elements including input edit text, translate button and output text. And then, now go to the MLKit website. Step number one says to create a translator object configuring it with the source and target languages. Now, as a developer, you are not supposed to blindly copy and paste the code. Instead, see what part of code is required and what is the purpose of this code. Okay. Also, the documentation does not provide every line of code. Like over here, you have to fill in your logic, right? So copy the code and paste it below the initialization. Here our source language means the language which will be translating is English. You can see here we have so many languages to choose from. English, Hindi, Thai, Arabic, Bengali, Chinese, French, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Marathi, Spanish, Tamil, Urdu, Vietnamese and so many. I'll choose English. And then our target language means translated language is Hindi. Now here we are predefining the languages. But in advanced translator app, we can use a language identification ML kit to identify the language on its own and translate it to whatever language we choose from. Here, instead of English German translator variable, rename it a translator variable. But we will make it a global variable also. Then next, we need to download the model, means the data. Remember at the start, I said that every machine requires a set of data or instructions to work. The same way, this code will download the model to the user's device and work accordingly. So to do that, copy the code and paste it here. See, this will require an internet connection to download the model. Then use a translator variable with download model if needed with the above conditions and then add on success listener means if the model is successfully downloaded then what are we supposed to do translate the text right so for that we will create a separate function for it and then call it here inside okay now create a function translate text whose parameters are input text And output text view. Then copy and paste this code. Here use the translator variable which will translate the input text and on the successful translation it will display the translated text on the output text view. But if the translation fails for some reason, then the output text view will display translation failed. And done. 
Now here are inside the add-on success listener. If the model is successfully downloaded, then set on click listener on translate button. Inside it, first take the English text from the edit text. And then it uses the translate text function which we created before whose argument values are text to translate means the English text and output text means the Hindi text. But if the model download fails, then the output text will display model download failed. Simple. Then the last thing is to close the translator when not in use. So to do that, create an on destroy function and inside it write translator.close. And that's it. Our translator app is ready. We do have some more code, but those are for fragments. Okay? Also, remove well from here because we have already initialized it here. And we are good to go. Now let's run the app. The app looks great. I'll write an English text. Who are you? Click on translate to Hindi button. And it says, Tum kon ho? Nice. Let's try I love coding. And it says, Mujhe coding pasand hai. Perfect. If you want to swap the language, like translating Hindi to English, then simply set the source language as Hindi and set the target language as English. Or maybe any other language of your choice. Also, you can add multiple source languages as well as target languages. But it is recommended to avoid keeping too many languages model on the device at once. Got it? So yeah, that's it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.